Happy Feast of Our Lord's Transfiguration. I am Sister Didi Alarcon of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three dwellings here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud a voice said, This is my son, the Beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be afraid. And when they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Tell no one about the vision until after the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Although Peter is just bubbling uselessly because he is terrified at the sight of Jesus transfigured and conversing with bygone heroes of Israel's history, the content of his speech unmasks an all-too-human tendency. It reveals not only the state of Peter's heart, but also our own. No one is exempt from desiring glory because we are ultimately destined for it and our hearts are restless until we attain it. But even when we get a taste of an imperfect earthly glory, we want to prolong it and cling to it for as long as we can. It is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings. Peter's illusion is interrupted by the Heavenly Father's voice that directs his attention to Jesus, the Beloved Son. It is Jesus who will point to and lead the way to true glory. But as he has already declared in Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 to 25, it will be via the way of the cross. Any pursuit of glory apart from the cross ends only in vain glory. The transfiguration of Jesus, which takes place just before his passion, teaches us the wisdom that glory is inseparable from the cross. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, do not let us get trapped in the illusion that glory can be ours even if we bypass the cross. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever.